Deadpool, everybody, he's back. This time he's <laughs> this time he's coming back for revenge. I don't Rated know. R. Rated for R. Family. <laughs> this movie was um, Deadpool Two was awesome. I I, I, yeah. I I enjoyed it more than the first. Um, I thought it like and, and I was right that it was structured less. Not I want I want to say structured as well. I the the first one probably had a little bit of a better story. Very simple plot, just like the yeah, first. Yeah, I don't, don't don't let cable be in this movie fool you thinking it's going to be on some. I like, can put this to the side, and this doesn't give away nothing because the the trailer kind of gave away some stuff, not too much. But um, I can say this: the bigger budget didn't hurt this film as much as I thought it Actually, would. Actually, it helped it on certain instances. Oh yeah, in we'll, certain we'll, get in certain we'll, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. I think um that this movie all all you really need to know. Uh, I won't give that away. I will give this away. Cable, um, there's a kid that there's a kid that um, Deadpool is latched with. He's he's uh, some some kid with mutant powers. A fire. A well, fire. Fire. I guess he's a, a he, better pyro. I guess. I guess so. Fire and mutant powers are so basic to me. It's like the lightning for. It's, it's like, like lightning you get, powers. You get right? Firestorm. Not Firestorm. What's the what's the name? What's the chick that was in uh, Super Friends? I mean, um, Spider Man and his Amazing Friends. Oh God! Oh man! What fire, fire powers? Fire something. Fire, you got uh, her. Uh, you uh, got Pyro, who can only manipulate it, uh, manipulate flames. Um, don't get me to going right now, man. Because the Phoenix Phoenix Force is fire s. But still, I said this kid has fire, yeah. and um, um, somehow that. De- Deadpool and him get um, captured. He was at the Essex facility. Yeah. Ah, there, ah, there's your ah, sinister, there you uh, go. sinister uh, throwaway. They both there. um they both get locked up. Uh, they both get locked up and go to um I guess I don't know Genosha. Let's just go with that. Yeah. Um, a lot of mutants in this prison. <laughs> there's a bunch of mutants in this prison. Now what hap- What happens is that that kid ends up killing killing somebody killing um Cable's um in the family future, in the future in the family yeah. in, in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Cable comes back and shenanigans ensue. Think Dude, the, that's pretty much it. That's yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. The movie. Like think, uh, think of how the X Men animated series was, where Bishop had to go back and kill Gambit because yeah. Gambit basically triggered the fucking mutant apocalypse and shit. I like how, even though that wasn't it. Yeah, I like how like almost both times it was actually Bishop who started that shit. <laughs> but Yo, man, now, anyway. now the greatest thing about this movie is if you ever read comics, and if you haven't read comics, bear with us here. Cable has a very convoluted history. Very, very. And the, the time th- travel in the comics is like the most stupidest and don't hit and that craziest shit. shit ever. And don't hit that shit. Whoa, it was better than the, co- the car- TV, sh- the cartoon. Shut the fuck up, you cartoon. F- you <laughs> not you eighties baby. Shut the hell up. Because here's the thing: <laughs> this movie and the nineties X Men they streamline time travel. It's simple and to the point. Not convoluted, just simple to the point. In this movie, they don't explain time travel because you don't really need to explain it. It's, it's simple and to the point. Yeah. I think um, and they they uh, not only did they get to the point of that shit. Um, finally, so finally, you see not finally, but you see um, there are uh, a lot of parts of this movie where it's funnier. It's it's a lot funnier. They do they do rerun some of the gags, but they do it differently. Yeah. The only thing that really gets on my nerves is the fact that, and this is only because if you. If you really get tired of his humor, Ryan Reynolds' humor can get tiresome sometimes. Yeah, it's the Canadian it, humor. It's not even a Canadian humor. It's his style of humor, which for a lot of people, they love. And a lot of people is like, oh, God, just get on with it. So it's a combination with that shit. And I think it's all right. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I think some of the jokes either went on too long. One of the complaints I did have, it was not so much a complaint. It's just something that I told Chris was going to fucking happen. I call it joke bingo. And let me tell you, he fills up bingo on all oh, on man. these three categories. DC, DC jokes, yes. DC comic bingo. jokes. Marvel comic jokes. Bingo. Avengers jokes. Bingo. And X-Men jokes. Actually, more so MCU jokes. MCU jokes, yeah, yeah. MCU jokes and X-Men jokes. He fills up all four of those categories. And they're five, actually pretty, all bingo. They're actually pretty funny. Yeah. They're, all, they're all funny. The only one I didn't like was... <laughs> the only one I didn't like was... Uh, 
the throwaway one with Thanos. That was a that like yeah, that was like, that was weak. That's like that's one of those. All right, uh, hey Ryan, you got one more joke to complete the bingo. Thanos. All yeah, right, there right, you go. Right, 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 the other yeah. one he did for DC that I booed at was the Batman one, but it was funny. It was funny, but I was like, oh boo. <laughs> yeah. It was funny though. Yeah, as our boy Prime said when we did when we were talking about Deadpool one and stuff, he's basically mean pool, which is not a bad thing because you because well no that's probably you no know, see. It's not a bad thing, but it can be if your your sense of humor doesn't lean that way. Yeah. And this is and that's the and that's the one like I said that goes into Brian Reynolds jokes joke pattern. It's funny, but I can understand why it gets tiresome, and I understand why somebody that looks at all these references, not even just the references, but the meany type of jokes he kind of makes, yeah. and I can see people saying they hated it because of it. So let me make that very clear. If you're not a big fan of both of those things we just said. This is going to be not a long movie, but it's going to take some time you're going through this. Yeah. Because, but then again, they did the serious, the serious parts. Serious enough, I'll give it that. It got serious enough where it you didn't lose track like of him what and movie his girl, you're watching. Like, basically, him and his girl at the beginning of the movie, they have a very serious talk about having kids and such. And him kind of like, I guess, leaving the, the, the mercenary life. And then you have, and, stuff, and, and then, then you have another moment where Josh Brolin is thinking about his fucking own family and shit. Yeah. Then you have um, and then you know, other than that, it's all right. You know, it's it's fine. Like yeah. I said, I think um, well, what I did like about it though is uh, like okay, so I'm a fan of Domino to a point because I like her, especially with uh, the Uncanny X Force books and stuff. You know, I only like her. In, I only liked her in X Force in two runs. It was the, the was fam- that the one that I gave you? Yeah, that with that the, fam- with them them fighting the uh, purifiers and stuff. The purifier, yeah. When she joined the when, when the purifiers, the other one was actually, which is actually kind of wrapped up into um motherfucking um the Messiah child the uh, the Messiah child one. Yeah, that one too. When X Force had to go in there, she it was always like her oh. Wolverine that was like almost alive. See, I thought it was the one where they all. Was with Warpath dressed up in death paint and shit. Oh God, I knew about that one. I hated that story. I, think I gave you that one. I don't know if you read. No, it, I read. No, I read all the X Force sto- yeah. stuff you gave me, man. Yeah. You know, but still. Um, but as far as that, I know what you mean, man. I think I think well, the I like, way they played Domino was pretty good. Yeah, I like Zazzy as Domino. I like how because look, I like Domino's powers, but I loved how they just joke like. That's a bullshit power. You know that, right? It's no, a no, bullshit it's like, power. I was like, no, it's not. It's, yes, it is. It's a bullshit power. It's like, it's no. I can do thing, whatever I can, and it, it's going to work. The thing that always pissed me off about Domino is that, to me, to me, she just, to me, I always came off like, oh, she's just the perfect sniper to me. That's all, that's all I always, I take. oh, she's the perfect marksman. Because, other than, because, yeah, it's luck. Okay, yeah, bullshit. You shot in the ground and ricocheted and shot him in the head. Fuck you. That's that's not a mutant power, but I guess it but, is. But whatever. the way the movie played it, it was like certain things went her way. She's like for instance, she's driving a truck, and the truck is basically driving by itself. Not even driving by itself. No, despite that, I will say that. Despite it saying, "Oh, it's, she's all oh, she's Lady Luck," you know she ran over so many innocent people. <laughs> but, but I like that. And, and here's the thing, folks. Now, if you saw the trailer with X Force, I'm not going to give away what happens to them, but. I will say this: Your expectations of what you think is the X Force is going to do in this movie, just just sit it to the side and just watch it. Look, look, you just gave it away. I didn't give it away. Oh, you gave it away. I didn't give it away. Somebody smart is going to get mad at you. Yeah, you, I, I wasn't going to say shit, yeah, I, even though I guessed it off the break. I told you off the break too. This is what I like. Hey, yo, Chris. <laughs> no, it ain't going to happen. I was right. <laughs> But you know what? It was awesome, though. I will say that. It was oh, awesome. Oh, God. Was I, hate that. I, I hate how right I was about that. But anyway, um, but there's, like I said, there's a lot of funny in this movie. Um, Dude, it's a fucking juggernaut. You gave that away. Did we give it away? You kind of gave that away. Do I do? I'll edit that. No, no. It's in there. Yeah, juggernaut's in this movie. Not good. Edit. No, but here's some. No, actually, you didn't give it away because it's so bullshit. It's not bullshit, but it's like. Well, who else is that going to be? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, that's not even a giveaway. I'll See, I wasn't going to say this. I wasn't going to say it at all, man. But yeah, but it, when you when, when they set it up, it's like, fuck you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's another fuck you for that, too. When it comes to the bingo stuff, man, uh, huh, that's my dad's old job. Anyway, uh, when it comes to the bingo shit, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I just, I, I just noticed that. We don't go down this way. Um... Yo, when it goes to the big old stuff, oh yeah, there's the Ryan Reynolds breaking the fourth wall jokes. Okay, that's double bingo on that one. And, he, and that's what killed me. He said, what he said about Juggernaut, he said, he said, yeah, that's where to keep the big guy. 
And he said something about foreshadowing. And I'm foreshadowing. I'm like, I died laughing. I'm like, I hate you. I hate this movie, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, it's, but, it's, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Juggernaut's in this show. But, 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 I mean, look. You know, we talk about this movie having a bigger budget and stuff. And it shows. It, this it shows. shows. I will say, there was a part where I was like, okay, the special effects looking a bit shaky. Mm-hmm. A bit shaky. I say this about Juggernaut's on CGI because I know somebody's going to praise it. Here's me. He looks doughy. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's yeah. About, he's like strong and big, it's but it's like it's, it's, that it's, was. It, it, it's kind of it, like one because here's the thing. Um, like with Colossus, for instance. Like Colossus look good. Let me make that clear. Colossus look good. Juggernaut looks like a CGI. Yeah, Jugg- I I that's the one, best I way I can describe it's, it's it. That's one how of the it situations is. where it was like they could fine tune it, they but could. for what it is, yeah. it works. It yeah. works. It plays. It's kind of one of those things where. Fuck it, it works for right now. If we use them later, in other words, fine tune it. This was another situation. I didn't do it in this one because I was like so busy watching the movie. This wasn't like Black Panther when um T'Challa and uh T'Challa Killmonger, Killmonger right. started fighting each other and I leaned over to Chris. So uh that shit you talk about Steph Wolf. This is another example. So uh I heard you talk shit about how Steph Wolf looked like it. Hey, you gonna let yeah. this shit go? Yeah. I, I look, that was what. I was but here's the thing: it's fine. That's my thinking when it comes to CGI in I mean, general. That's the thing. That's my even, old thing in CGI that's in general. That's it's sad, fine. That's a sad, it is fine. That was the sad part. It's like I didn't hate Steppenwolf design. I just probably because I was in my head with Steppenwolf. You're looking at the human looking. Yeah, I, I like the human looking. I, I, Steppenwolf. And, I'm, and I'm totally like, fine. Like with on that. the level of how Ares was and Wonder Woman before that fucking CGI. That was weird. That weirdness. was weird. Let me make that very clear. I that was the one thing in Wonder Woman I always like. Mm. I like the design of him before they started that CGI fight at the end of Wonder Woman. I like the design. Of I him. knew what they were doing with it. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. Whatever. But look, the point is, point is that's the thing that gives me with CGI in general because I was thinking about uh, what was I. I was looking at I was looking at like the second X-Men movie and I was thinking like how kind of like a bit impressive it was and then it was like one part I forgot who it was who sp- who power it was it was um well it was a motherfucker you know Nightcrawler disappearing jump you know the shit they've been doing ever since ever since that movie disappearing showing up behind somebody and all that and I thought to myself this shit kind of looks wonky now yeah but whatever not a big not a big deal and I thought to myself why are we complaining about how CGI looks now because to me, since there hasn't been really no ugly looking CGI, there's two types of CGI to me. There's cartoony, and then there's oh impressive. That's it to me. Yeah. There's only two speeds of that shit. Cause like when I see like good example, uh, fucking a Hulk and Ragnarok. It's cartoony. Okay. But it That's works. cartoony to me. Did I see it was bad though? Yeah. Exactly. I, I think we, we like we, like we, Steppenwolf. We, 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 like when we, we, I saw Steppenwolf, that's fine. And like it's cartoony. Did I say it was bad? I think that's how it is. Now, I don't. I haven't seen no movie recently where the CGI was like, ew. <laughs> I haven't seen one like that. Because well, it's like as much because like I said, I and still, that goes outside of superhero movies. Too. Yeah, because I mean, look, I, well, I, I, will, I, will, look I will still now, sing praises of Black Panther, but even I will admit wholeheartedly that final fight they could have fine to new. They could have. That could have stayed in the studio for an or, extra forty or, days. Or if you're gonna have him fight, have him fight not in the train station, just have him out broad day. Like I the think suits really, were fine for what it I, was. I think the thing I hate about those situations that I hate the same thing about um, Deadpool a little bit is, uh, and I do the same. And I say the same thing about Spider Man. I hate it when the heroes have to be eighty yard. I always hate that. Like even if even yeah, I know he had the hood over his face sometimes in it when he when he um, filmed it. But even then, it's like it feels like you have to be eighty yard, and I always hate that. I, that's just a, that's a me thing, and I always I, I hate that shit. Like with Spider Man, like all through Homecoming, it's like that's 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 CGI because that's not regular head movement. You yeah. know what I mean? So and even with the first three Spider Mans, I had that same fucking problem. That's what actually I was looking at. I was looking at Spider Man one, and I saw this one part where Spider Man went. Why, I'm like, wow! Why are we complaining this, about CGI now? Because it is. Put this way, it has come a long way. I would say for yeah, this it came movie. Longer. You can tell where the money was spent on it. Cause like I yeah, said, you could. Because you really, like I said, you and, 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 and it doesn't be real about these people. The juggernaut thing is just a slight spoiler. It doesn't really. It doesn't. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't hold nothing to the movie. Yeah, it doesn't. Really. It doesn't hold anything to it. Like I said, I think I was just excited seeing them because, like I said, it washes the taste of X Men Three. I love Vinnie Jones, but that that juggernaut in X Men Three it was like that was that. Fuck was that, that whole movie was a bunch of what the hell? <laughs> and I like X Men Three, and that's, that whole movie was a bunch of what I mean, the it's fuck. It's like okay, you did two steps forward with multiple man. That was fine and then Juggernaut. It's like, what the fuck was you that? You know what? But this, like I said, again, we're seeing 
Better X Men movies done at Expo and <laughs> Expo and Deadpool. Expo. Listen, Might as well call it Expo. And here's the thing. Listen, there's a bunch of cameos from X Men characters, Boy. And, and it's hilarious how they're used. And when you see it, you're gonna be like. Okay, that was actually pretty funny. Yeah. And it's one of those situations where how they're used, you can't really be mad because did you really care about them? Exactly. Did you really care? Exactly. And, and as much as I'm fans of them and stuff, it's like, well, I can't necessarily be mad at that. I really can't. This movie, <laughs> this movie, yes, I. as much as I don't want to say it, it's better than the first one. Yeah. It, and they I they go, have much and more I go, leeway. I think they have I, more leeway. I think you have more leeway. I think because it was funnier, it made it a better movie. Yeah. Now, like I said, I can stand by what I said. I feel I feel the first one was structured better, but this one, yeah, it feels like a much better movie. Like I said, with cable, they again, you didn't have to explain the time travel. Oh yeah, there was one, there was one or two parts in the movie where there was uh, I forgot. It was like it was the second time they got serious with cable, and I leaned over to Chris. Stop acting, Josh. The movie number stop. two that you're trying stop. to act serious. Stop, Don't do this. stop being serious, motherfucker. You see Ryan Reynolds. He just made a dick joke. He just teabagged you two scenes earlier, which that doesn't give away nothing. That's trust in tra- me. That's in the TV spots and trailers. Yeah, I'm about to say, that doesn't give away nothing. That should be in the trailer. If I, I was like, say, wasn't that in the trailer? Yep. Shit. So, whatever. But, I mean, um, but it's just like, okay, so like I said, you might be like, what about that technical organic virus? I don't fucking care. The movie I'm didn't sorry, care. I'm you sorry, don't I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You mentioned something that's not in this movie, and why did you care? Thank you. But that's what I'm saying. I didn't care, but that's what I'm saying. It's just addressing the fact that, again, I like that that's I mean, something that you don't have to address. You're just like, okay, yeah. that's cable, and that's it. That's fine. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say this before we go ahead and read this. Um, I was sitting in this movie trying to be a critic and trying to separate myself as a person that wants to be or wants to actually write my own stuff and somebody who doesn't play sides but I do have a favorite I do love DC Comics more than Marvel yeah. so I hate the fact that I have to sit there and feel like I need to feel some type of way because I was doing it in Justice League I was doing it in I was doing it in Justice League I was doing it in um, fucking Wonder Woman I was doing it in, um, in Black Panther and I was doing it even in, in let me see, tell you something see, I was doing it in fucking Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm a big Spider-Man you know fan. How, I love Spidey, man. Do you know how hard that was for me with Black Panther? The fact that I had to watch it three times before I could finally be like, okay, I'm going to die down from the hype. Yeah. Is you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I can admit, like, see, you want to admit your standness. I will admit my standness a little bit. I, I just like the stories better. But here's the problem I'm have, I was having. I was having a tough time trying to just, hey, D, you do love everything. And I mean this for everybody that loves everything. Yeah. You do love everything. You have a true love for every type of comic. You love Wolverine. You love Batman. You love Green Arrow. You love Captain America. Okay, let me take that back. I don't love Steve as much as I think I do. I think I just love the. I think I think I just love the color pattern. But look, the point is, um, I like both sides. So it's like D. Why do you do that to yourself? And I feel like a lot of people do that anyway because we because you like Wolverine more you have to root you have to root for the X Men movies mm-hmm. because you like Spider Man you have to root for uh, for Marvel movies more because and this is a big one for these motherfuckers because you are a Batman fan you have to go the extra mile and saying Batman can't can't be killed by a missile yeah. look stop. Yeah. That's, Stop I mean, everybody. That's, that's, that's what it really Unplug. Comes and I was sitting there in this movie trying to be a stuffy ass critic. And it makes it worse because we're critics. And I have to be like, hmm, I don't think that was I mean, structured properly. I, I, mean, we were I roll, hate that. I, mean, we were rolling I out, hate that. We were rolling out, like, and again, I, I, it's not to judge other critics there, but I can tell on the face. You can tell, the critic, can you? On the, some of the critics' face where it's like, well, this is funny, this but it wasn't that Yeah, funny. yeah, you know, that kind of shit. What like, about the storyline in the third act? Yeah, you know, you know like, like that shit. You have to. I think with certain movies you have, you to, have to you have to take what is given. This is the problem. I think, and it goes actually back to the to the main problem when comic book movies turned around because because Dark Knight was so big it made it it pulled everybody's head out of their ass and saw comic book movies as serious because Avengers got so incredibly popular and made a billion dollars. We have to see these things. If we don't see those things, it don't make it good. Just like it for what it is. And that's the thing. Like and that's the thing that I, 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 and I hate the fact that I had to wait through 10, what was it, 10 years of Marvel movies. Four and a half movies of shitty ass DC movies. I like the movies. They're shitty. <laughs> and I had to sit through terrible, more terrible than DCU X-Men movies. 
I had to sit through them, and I'm sitting in Deadpool too, laughing at baby, no, laughing at Ryan Riddle's baby dick. That is not a spoiler, and you're gonna die laughing when you see it. Here's the thing: when I got to that point, I was like, like the movie. Yeah. Just like it. You're not going to leave this movie unsatisfied. And if you do, trust me, Stan Lee ain't paying you. Dan DeDio ain't paying you. Yep. Let go. Because, I mean, Let it ultimately, go, my what nigga. you're getting... Ultimately, what you're getting out of Deadpool is a lot of funniness. Here's the funny... Okay, mm-hmm. so I'm going to address the elephant in the room here, okay? So, obviously, we know what's happening with T.J. Miller in real life and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. going on, right? For a hot second, there was a part in the movie I was like, they're going to kill him off. They're gonna fucking kill them all. <laughs> I really thought they were, man. I was like, for one second, I was like, oh shit, they're gonna kill this motherfucker off. They didn't, but it was kind of like, huh, huh, mm-hmm. huh, huh, okay. I thought they were, man. I, I really thought they were gonna do it, and I was like, oh, they didn't. Okay, huh. okay, cool. Go to the movie. Go to the movie, because I would have. Oh, I would have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh I would have. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would have been funny, too. <laughs> I mean, for all intents and purposes, apparently, he ain't gonna be in the X Force movie. So, I which I'll say this that was a funny joke in the movie where Deadpool the whole movie was like X-Force <laughs> oh man <laughs> I was really waiting f- I was really waiting for there to be and this is not giving away nothing I totally but I was really waiting for uh, for Domino to be like that's Wakanda forever no, I was man really, I was really waiting is that the sign they use in Wakanda I'm sorry what are you talking about I thought it was going to be something like that but hey, you know what I mean um, Freaking uh, what's his face, Nega Sonic's girlfriend and stuff like that, where she was like, "Bye, Wade. Bye, Yukio." <laughs> oh man. But um, so so, but yeah, I, you know, like I said, every the gang's back together. There's 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 funniness and stuff. His boy uh, D- Deeper or whatever his name is, stuff is fucking hilarious. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, overall movie, I enjoyed it. I thought it was funny all around. So. Um, that being said, um. I sat and thought about it, and it was I was weighing back and forth on a seven and eight, and I'm going to give it an eight. Yeah, solid eight. I'm going to give it an eight. Solid eight. Um, like I said, it's better than the first one. Um, get ready to laugh your ass off. Now, um, I don't talk, you know, you know me, I don't give a crap about box office that much, but I can't see this slowing down. If not knocking Infinity War off top, I can see it slowing it down. Oh, it's, I was going to slow it down. It was like, after this weekend, apparently Infinity War is going to be at one point six billion. Yeah, I know. That's I'm like, insane. well, that shit's might gonna make two billion. That is insane. <laughs> that is fucking insane, man. And I ain't get to say it in the last one, but uh, I ain't get to say it at all. Uh, if anyone we did a review, actually, I think we did the spoiler. No, no, me and Eris did it. I didn't we know. Did I didn't get to say it in the spoiler review when we when, when we uh, sat and they had a discussion about it. Yeah. The one thing I didn't get to say about that was that I thought that because it was kind of really really sad at the end. Even though I'm, I'm sorry. DC movies, no, no, not 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 DC movies. DC storylines have burnt all my sympathy out of me. So when I, I mean, after you see Flashpoint, it's kind of like that is a Flashpoint. Really, how can you really build up off that? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Look, at the Flashpoint, after seeing your your hero die a couple times, I don't. Do at that this too. point, you're just kind of admiring that they were gutsy enough to just fucking. Oh yeah, I really don't. Yeah, especially a Marvel product doing that. No, shit. The, the fact that they. Just, oh yeah, I can believe them doing it in the comics, but in the actual movies, that's the, where and, we and get the it even. Right? With our comic book kind of, you know, cynicism, yeah, and yeah, stuff, yeah. Where we're like, oh, they'll be back and stuff. The fact that they were ballsy enough to say, "Fuck it, kill them off, let's go." Yeah, I know, right? And just and just go cut the black, and it's like, what? Yeah, no, I don't know. No, I will say that because any other movie, the movie would end it with uh, Thor stab Thanos in credits. We're happy. Eat swarma, boom. <laughs> Eat swarma. <laughs> Dead no, serious. Dead I fucking think, serious. And I think because the second movie ended on that type of note, it's going to do Deadpool some good. Oh, it's gonna I mean good. that. It's going to do Deadpool. You, it's going to do Ant-Man and the Wasp. It's like, oh, shit. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You, you putting a lot of... You, hey, hey, hey. you comic fans. Not, no, I'm going to say you people. <laughs> you people. Last time we talked about this, what happened? Ant-Man did game busters at the box office. <laughs> it came in there when nobody's watching movies, nigga. That's why. <laughs> Dope as hell. No, it was not dope as hell. That's a one time watching movie, man. Even though I have talked to a couple people that don't watch, um, don't watch our combo movies, they say that's the most watchable one to them. I, I, hey, whatever. It's a heist I, movie I guess. Shrinking. I guess. I'm like Deadpool and Wasp. I mean, I mean, not Deadpool and Wasp. See, I'm saying Deadpool for everything that's now. Michael Douglas. Put some respect on this. Movie. Shut up. I see Michael Douglas's ass. I can disrespect him. <laughs> Michael Douglas and Paul Rudd. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. All right. I think that's good, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So, uh, yeah. Go see Deadpool 2. Peace out. All right. Peace.